So first we're going to start with our handle mold. So I've got the mold. I am using the white UV resin from CCDIY. You can use clear UV resin. You can use regular resin. This just is a quicker way to do this. So I am just filling using the tip of the UV resin bottle, which works perfect for this mold. And I'm just going to fill it all the way to the top. You want to make sure that you don't really overfill this. Otherwise, you'll have a lot of sanding to do. So it's best to try and just get it as level as you can. Once I've got it level, I'm just going to wipe off any of the excess that I have on top just with an alcohol wipe. And then I'm going to place that under my UV light for about four minutes. Now, I did flip it over to do both sides. So just make sure that it's fully cured before you move on to the next step. Now we're going to move on to the cup portion. So of course I have my cup chuck to hold my cup on the turner and while I'm working. So I just screwed that directly into my 24 plump here. Now I'm just taking this 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl and I'm just going to fold that diagonal and I'm going to cut it right in half. And this is going to give us a perfect lineup for this style that we're going to do on this cup. So I'm just cutting it straight in half as even as I can. Now you can place your vinyl either or which side depending on if you want more of the vinyl to show or more of your design to show. For me, I wanted more of my vinyl so I'm just going to wrap that all the way around my cup and then I'll have a small portion left over with the stainless that we're going to decorate after. So I'm just peeling back part of the backing of the vinyl and I'm just going to wrap that around my cup and then just trim off that excess. Now you'll see I added these little vinyl strips before I did the paint and glitter and I ended up having to remove them and adding them after because I got paint on it anyway even though I used tape. So if you wanted to do, you could skip this step and then just add these little tiny strips after. That way you don't have to worry about covering them up or getting paint or glitter on them. Once your handle mold is fully cured, you're just going to pop that out of the mold and then you'll likely have a little bit of trimming to do, which I did here. So I'm just going in with these little wire cutters and I'm just trimming off any of the little excess there. And then I'll use a sanding block just to kind of scruff it up and make sure that I don't have any weird bumps or anything sticking out. So to adhere it to the cup, because I'm applying it directly to my cup that's already has my vinyl and my design on it, I'm just going to use my clear UV resin. Now this mold does have two holes in the side of the mold that will help adhere it to the cup. So you just want to make sure that that is filled all the way up and then you'll use that UV light, hold it in place, and then let that cure. While doing the next steps, you do want to make sure that you are being gentle with the handle because it is only one layer of UV resin that's holding that on. So until you have more coats of that resin, you just want to be careful when working with it that you don't accidentally pop that UV resin off. So now I'm just adding a layer of white paint that will be the base for my glitter that I'm going to apply in the next step. So I'm just adding my white paint. I'm going to let that dry and then I will use the epoxy method here to apply my glitter. So I just mixed up 5 milliliters each part A and B epoxy and then I am going to actually mix my glitter directly into the epoxy and then I'm going to apply that to the small section where I painted and I'm also going to apply it to the handle as well.
when applying this, you do want to make sure that you're being careful. You obviously don't want to get that glitter all over the rest of your cup. So I'm just carefully applying it to the handle and then I'll go back in and use a rubber spatula just to get the edge of the handle so I don't get excess on that vinyl there. And then I do want to make sure that I'm going to peel that tape back before the epoxy dries. Now, because I'm using Facet and it is a thicker epoxy and it does cure quick, I don't have to worry about the epoxy running or going onto the vinyl, but that is something to keep in mind. You may need to do this step a little differently if you're using a thinner resin, but I am going to put that on the turner and allow that to cure. So for the bottom of my cup, I did have a little overhang with my vinyl, but not enough to wrap it around. So what I'm doing is I'm just using this little cup edging tool, and I'm just going to cut around the bottom and peel that vinyl off in a perfectly straight line. And then I am going to glitter that. Now obviously you can do whichever method you choose for the bottom. You can add another piece of vinyl if you wish, but I wanted to add the glitter to kind of just tie everything in. So I'm just going right in with my epoxy. I did not base coat it or color it just because I really like the way that this glitter looks with the stainless. So I am just adding a small layer of my epoxy and then I'm just going to dump my glitter directly onto it. Also, you'll notice the cute little Santa image that's now on the cup in the white glitter section. All that is is just a rub-on transfer from Southern Belle Glitter. I just added that after my layer of epoxy was dry. So before I dump that glitter back, I am actually just going to apply the epoxy all over the rest of my cup here, and then I'm going to go back in with that glitter and just sprinkle it kind of around on the vinyl. I'm not going too heavy with this, I just wanted to add just a little extra sparkle on the vinyl, and then I am trying to avoid the handle and the small section with the white glitter as much as I can. Once that's cured, you'll just want to add another coat of epoxy before we move on to the next step. So now I'm just going to add a cute little snow drip or faux snow drip. And then I, there's a lot of different ways that you can do a drip. And I've shown different methods that I like using in different tutorials that I've done. For this specific one, I wanted a thicker drip. So I am actually using the Real Effects resin from CCDIY. Now with this method, it does take a little bit to get used to because it is, this resin is extremely thick, mostly just the part A, so it is kind of hard to get accurate measurements. So what I do is I'll start with a thicker part, part A, and just kind of scoop a glob out and tap that down as much as I can to get it as even as I possibly can, and then just kind of eyeball the second measurement to try and get them as perfectly level as I can. Now if you're a little bit off, I find that it is okay and it will still cure, you just might want to test it and make sure that it starts to harden before you put it on your project. So I'm just going to make sure that it is thoroughly mixed, give it a good stir for a minute, and then I'm going to add in this super pretty shimmery mica called Pop Speared from Simply Sarah Customs. And you really don't need a lot. This mica goes a long way. And I also did mix up quite a bit of this resin. I definitely did not need that much, but I don't like really working in smaller increments with this particular resin. So I'll try and find a use for it for something else if I can. So I'm just going around the cup with my rubber stir stick and just kind of applying it to the top. Now I'm not adding a ton here because of my image being so close to the top. I really don't want that covered. So I'm going to apply it a little heavier in certain areas where the image is not. And then I'm also just going to keep tilting the cup up and down. That way my drip doesn't run more than I want it to. Once that's cured, I'll add a final coat to seal everything, and that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe for all my other videos. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I can't wait to see what you create.